I think most of you guys already know about Wixter. The and the innocent kids who don't know what is time remapping also known as velocity. It's basically a tool to control the speed of the layer. Let me show you some examples. But why should you time remap your clips? In simple words it makes your shit like edit better. Anyway let's begin the tutorial. Step 1 install VSCO. Step 2 import your video. And take your eyes off from my files. Step 3 trim the part which have large frame gaps like this. Step 4 speed up to 4x. And also render it. Step 5 slap the subscribe button. Step 6 slow it down. Import the clip that you just rendered. And here's your 4K ultra smooth slow motion. Join our Discord server if you have not. Link is in the description. For time remapping you need node video. And if your device doesn't support this then the only thing you can do is hit the subscribe button. This is the same video that I just rendered. So first I'm gonna stretch my clip, this will slow down my video. You can increase this if you want to make your video more slower. After that add time remap into your clip. Before we move further let me explain how it works. With time remapping you can adjust the timing of a layer. Here you can see that this is the end of my clip you can also see the timestamp. So if I make a new keyframe with the same timestamp like this. You can see that now the video ends here so basically I changed the timing of the video. You can also say that the video got shrinked. And make sure that the distance between your keyframes is the same as your bookmarks. Now open the graph editor. And press this to enable the handles. Then make whatever curve you like. And if you don't know how graph editor works you can watch this video as both the apps have a quite similar graph editor. By the way you can increase the time by dragging it upward. And you can also watch after effects time remapping videos as both works on the same mechanism.